So I've been in online school since the beginning of this past school year, and I've been homeschooled for a little over two and a half months now. And just over a year ago, I might have been one of the most insecure people you would have known. I, like, I literally would spend like 30 minutes trying to get my ugly ass hair to look right, when that was literally impossible because the hair code itself was absolutely awful. Like, <laughs> I would constantly obsess over how my face isn't symmetrical and how my jaw is the smallest bit to the left, which I know that literally anyone I ever knew couldn't notice, and if they did, they couldn't care less. But I noticed it for some fucking reason. Like, I was the opposite of confident, bro. I was so unsure of myself in so many situations. Like, especially in school. And just, shit was just a mess, okay? So, let me explain how I went from being one of the most insecure, unsure, and unconfident people to literally one of, if not the most confident person that people I know know. So, when you're homeschooled, Oftentimes, it, it's out in public when you feel sort of insecure. It's in social situations because, like, sadly, sometimes parents are irresponsible. But I can tell you exactly how I completely got rid of that, bro. Like, literally, I can tell you I've completely rid myself of, like, insecurities. Oh, like, pretty much. And it all came from me just putting in the work. Like, as soon as I started going to the gym, I got a little more confident. As soon as I started to work on my business every single day, I got a little more confident. As soon as I started to really start, like, working hard towards my development, towards looking more attractive, I got so much more confident. As soon as I started to practice, like, practice and work on, like, being social, I got so much more confident. Like, the more work I put in, the better I feel about myself. The more confident I am that I can do it. The more confident I am that people will respect me, the more confident I am that I'm fucking attractive. Beca be like, being more confident doesn't come from self-love and all this cute shit that everyone thinks it does come from. Like, you're not confident if you're like, oh, I love myself for how I am. Like, no, you're not. You don't, first of all. And second of all, it doesn't act like that's not actually confidence. Confidence comes from work. Confidence comes when you have something going for you in your life. Most likely, you're insecure because you fucking deserve to be. Like, I know it sounds mean as fuck, but, like, sometimes guys need this sort of masculine criticism. The truth is, bro, when you put in the work, when you start seeing results, it's when you truly, like, really start to feel good about yourself, and it's when you start to become genuinely proud of yourself. It's when you really start smashing away, like, your insecureness. Like, no, that's not a fucking word. Shut up. I know that's not a word. I'm just using it because I don't give a fuck, okay? <laughs> the only thing- The only thing I maybe feel insecure about is when I'm in the gym and my shirt looks fucking stupid because the fucking sleeves on my shirt make me look like a paper airplane. But <laughs> that's about it. That's about it. Like, I need new shirts anyway. But, like, I per don't personally feel, like, insecure in social situations. I don't feel insecure about most things to do with myself. And I'm one of the most, like, confident people you would know if you knew me. So it just comes from practice, it comes from work, it comes from dedication. Now I could go on and like on and on and like rant about this, but I have something else that might be a bit helpful you, for you. And that's being more grateful for things in your life. For example, like I'm super grateful that every decision I've made led up to where I am today. Because if one little thing went wrong, I would probably be so much more worse off. I'm grateful that Humza randomly showed up on my shorts feed, and I'm grateful that I luckily was just interested enough to look at him, like, look into him and, like, look at his channel. I'm grateful for this computer, for fuck's sake. Like, there's just so much shit to be grateful for in life. Like, that, like, you, once you start actually recognizing it, and, like, you feel it so much more, and, like, you feel it more and more often. Like, if you verbally say you're grateful for things and have that as like a routine especially about yourself that can be really nice now i'm not just saying like oh just love yourself for who you are because like <clears throat> that just makes you complacent right that's just putty pussy energy that makes you complacent and that literally just makes you less confident but be grateful for what's worth being grateful for and work on what isn't so like work on what sucks about you work on what you don't like and then you'll start to become confident as hell 
and don't be afraid to show your fucking confidence. Like, I feel so many guys, bro, so many guys are such low fucking testosterone, and they're like, downplay your successes, don't take credit for what, like, it's like, what? Fuck that, like, I'm gonna say I'm attractive, I'm gonna rise to the fucking top, I'm gonna win, I'm gonna work hard, and I work hard. So, basically, to summarize things, there's, there's, there's a, there's three things that, there's three main things that you need to know. The first thing and the most important thing is to put in the work. Put in the work and you will feel like better about yourself. You will feel like you have something going for you. Get the results. The second thing is to be grateful for what you, <clears throat> for what you're glad you have. Be grateful, like still put in the work to improve those. That like work on your strengths even. Like work on your weaknesses and work on your strength. Work on everything, bro. But be grateful for them at the same time and you'll still be like, okay, yeah, I'm grateful for that. Like I, I have that going for me. That's like confidence, you know? And the third thing is to just don't be afraid to be confident and almost be a little bit arrogant. Like not too much because then you're just like annoying. But enough where it's still just like he's hella confident and I respect the fuck out of that. Peace out and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah.